grateful that God created such a beautiful human being and gave him to us, even for this long. Mike, here's a line Bob Dylan wrote, maybe you remember. I'll let you be in my dreams, if I can be in yours. I'll make that deal with you right now, pal. I'll settle for dreams. Because the thought of never seeing your face again, hearing your voice, reading your words, it would be just too much to bear. As Mike was a wordsmith. He made his living with words. But Mike understood on a very deep level that our gifts are best shared. And so he loved to teach other people to write and to value words. And this morning, there are two words I want you to know and take with you, words that were very important to him. A man who was a serious, thoughtful, proud Jew. Two Hebrew words, tikkun olam. Say those words, tikkun olam. (coughs) Tikkun olam is an old idea from Kabbalah, the Jewish mystical tradition, that the creation of the world is not yet complete. In fact, the world is broken, and we are God's partners in fixing it. That's our work as human beings, to repair the world. That's our job. And that was Mike Levine's job. And if I may borrow the words that he so carefully crafted from my mother's tombstone and It definitely applies to my brother. It is this. A caring heart beats eternal. And oh, my baby brother, Michael Peichel, how I will miss you. Mike Levine started working at the record as a feature writer. And the record has never been the same. He's gone now and will never be the same. We spent a lot of our time together talking about everything that kept us guessing. The origins of the human mind, the changing of the beach season, the power of praying at the Western Wall, and of course the Yankees. We talked about God and Derek Jeter in the same five minutes. (laughs) Each time we talked, I'd supply many of the facts and he would just use them to prove how amazing and wondrous everything truly is. How did people first come to think about God, he'd ask. Why do the colors of the leaves move us so much? Isn't it amazing how you can hit a straight line drive with a round ball and a round bat? (laughs) Looking back, I was glad to find out that he didn't know everything. If he knew everything, how would he find life so wonderful? This incredible, inexhaustible sense of awe is what made him a good Jew, a great father, what made him such a beautiful human being. And in his brilliant caring and intelligent way. He was always preparing me for the time when he'd be gone. He takes care of me. He takes care of his sons, Ben and Sam. He takes care of Victoria and Robbie, and he takes care of each one of us. By his life's example, we're all made better by the example of his living, and we're going to honor him by continuing to love him and by taking his thoughts and actions and making them our own. L'chaim Michael. <laughs>